So there guys, welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Uh, we are here outside outside this merchant shingle in the Beggar's Nest um, where we recently got ambushed. Ambushed, I tell you. Uh, and now we're ready to head inside to the inn and hopefully get some sleep, refresh our blessed weapon and once more take the fight to the undead, the scourge, the exact opposite of what we like. Being the paladin that we are, the paladin of Torm, Max Goodman. Uh, he's a very good boy. Uh, holy shit, there's refugees here. Fucking sweet. Man, I played D&D yesterday. I had, we had a five and a half hour session. It was fucking amazing. I DM'd, obviously. Um, Would you like something? But it was really good. Man, it's really good to have a really lengthy D&D <laughs> session just for the lols. Uh, it got crazy. A fire was started. Um, some some forest may have burned down, <laughs> uh, but on the plus side, the party managed to kill a bunch of drow, which is always a fun time. The barbarian in particular just went fucking sick on them. They're only level two. The barbarian managed to land a crit for thirty-two damage. <laughs> it was immense. I fucking love it. Uh, right, let's talk to some of these dudes. Callahan first. Well, hello to you. Need a drink? Times is tough, and a body could use a little lubrication to keep it moving. Uh, I would like some information about the zombies and stuff, sir. I don't blame you. Being crazy around these parts, first the plague, then this. We'll all be walking the warrens before we're through. Uh, what is the warrens, sir? Sorry, my slow-witted friend. Local superstition about the warrens of the damned that lead to the hells or some such. It's about the crypts beneath the great graveyard. People imagine the worst because they're out of sight. It's nothing. Okay. Anyone fighting the dead? Anyone who isn't a coward? Harbinash and Smith is here, and the celebrated undead hunter, Drake. <laughs> Oh dear. I mean, the singer Drake didn't exist when this came out, but still. Well, he probably existed, but wasn't called Drake. He won my Eat the Most Pickled Eggs Jamboree two years running. Excellent. Claim to fame right there. Drake, the pickled egg eating undead hunter. He'll deny it, won't even let you ask, but you just think about that when he's being oh so serious. <laughs> Oh, Desler's Hellmites are in the district somewhere too. Set up a sanctuary, I think. Um, yes, but what is the Warren, sir? Oh no, we already, we already did that. Okay, bye, Max Goodman. We're going to go talk to Drake. I don't know any Drake songs, so I can't make any Drake puns, unfortunately. Um, but we'll go talk to him anyway, Drake. Ah. I've heard of the impact you are making in Neverwinter. Good to know you are on our side today. Yes, sir. I am indeed on the side of the living when it comes to these kind of things. I see you are an undead hunter. I myself happen to be a paladin of Torm. Uh, Max Goodman's the name. Hello. <laughs> I've never seen an infestation like this. Undead fester over time, but here they rise before a corpse even cools. Um, yes, I know how dangerous they are, sir. What we need right now is some order in the streets. People need help, first and foremost. We need you. Once people are safe, we can find the source of these undead and get down their throats. I'm sure Harbin agrees and will reward people accordingly for helping. Um, tell me about the people who need helping. The lad Crystal and the lad Jermaine. Uh, Jermaine? <laughs> Jim Germany? Germany. Were spotted barricaded in their homes. More houses may be overrun. Crystal and Jermaine may also know of some strange happenings in the area, but we have not been able to interview them, never interview them as yet. Okay, tell me about the Crystal lad. His home is in the central east of the district, north of the Helmite Shrine. He is usually with a gang, but they appear to have disappeared. Tell me about Jananamanamanamanama. <laughs> Jermaine's home is in the west central section of the district. He has a brother too, but I have no news of him. Okay, I'll look into it. If you learn anything, keep us informed. We must know what we're dealing with, and if it's connected to the plague. Yes, don't worry, I'll do that. Straight away, I'll just quickly talk to Harbin first. In fact, let me examine you, Drake. Do you look like a pickled egg hunter to me? Hmm. Well, he's a seasoned veteran. 
So there is that. Uh, Harbin Ashen Smith. Let's examine you. Okay, he's a halfling. Who might you be then? Wow. Uh, speak up, speak up. I can't spend much time on pleasantries right now. Too much to do. Ooh, they gave you a full voice acted introduction in line. <laughs> Aren't you lucky, Harbin? Uh, I'm Max Goodman. I'm helping Arabeth. That's you. I expected green recruits, but I've heard how you've been helping find those blasted water Davian creatures already. Glad you've come. It's a mess in here right now. We've got a zombie infestation, and it will be your job to root out what's behind it. We've been up to our necks in undead, even deeper for short folk like me. The beggar's nest is just a mess, it is. Um, do you know if there's anyone behind the dead slash undead, sir? If I knew that, I'd do something about it. All I hear are the zombies. I have no idea who might be behind it. There are rumours, sure, but nothing makes much sense right now, and I don't have time to talk to everyone. Uh, what rumours did you hear? Like I said, I haven't had time to talk to anyone about it, but a couple of boys have said they heard things. Crestle and Gemini. Don't know much about them. Crestle lives just north of the Hell Might Shrine. Gemini lives over in the central west section. I think Jake will probably tell you of them as well. He's trying to organise rescues. That's all I know. Okay, uh, any safe places in the district? Well, you're kind of starting in one. As blah, 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 blah. Well, you're kind of standing in one, Smarty. The hell, my temple is another, though you have to suffer their soggy blessings. Ugh. <laughs> I don't really want their soggy blessings. No, we don't want their soggy blessings. I can bless myself. I'm Max Goodman. Uh, I've just noticed I have a really pointy head at the back of my neck. Slightly disturbing, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> um. I've got nothing against them, I guess. Gives people hope. But all their splashing hasn't scared the plague away yet. Yes, well, you can't trust a Hellmite. They are... Mm, twats, if I'm honest with you, Harbin. <laughs> um, do you know anything about the water Hoosian creature things? Arabeth has you chasing those things. <laughs> well, don't blab it around to everyone. If people hear that, we lost, a uh, we lost a shot at the cure. If people hear that we lost a shot at the cure... I'm sorry, but I don't know what these things are might I don't know where those things might have gone, and I ain't even sure what they were. I got zombies to worry about now. Okay, I'll see what I can find. Here's the thing. I know you're supposed to keep the peace, but we're up against a wall here. You find out what's happening and I'll make it worth your while over and above whatever Arabeth wants from you. So off you go then, and make sure you talk to Drake if you haven't. He's an undead hunter from way back. Likes pickled eggs. His new album comes out on Thursday. Okay. Thank you very much, Harbin. Um so what have we learned? We need to find Gemini and Crestal. Uh, we've got a missing guard. So we've got a missing guard. We it ambushed from the note. Find Crestal. Find Gemini. Undead everywhere. Sounds like a job for Max Goodman. It certainly does. Okay, let's save. Save our game. Right there. Ding. Uh, should we go upstairs? A quick poke around. See if there's anything going on up there that we need to know about. Any strange business? Any undead lurking in the corridors? Hello? It's me, Max Goodman. Is there anybody there? Can we loot the place? Yes, we can. An amethyst. Ta-da! That's what you get for keeping an amethyst in your drawer. I'm pretty sure it was stolen, so it's okay for me to steal it back. That's paladin logic right there. You watch, I'm going to open one of these and it'll just be full of monsters, like for no reason. Oh, that one's locked. It's inevitable that one of them's going to be trapped and just fucking kill me as well, isn't it? But it's worth a look. We need all the loot we can get. Because we don't have much luck with locked things, unfortunately, unless we can somehow get our hands on a, a wand of knock. Does that even exist in the OC? I don't think it does. I think it's the kind of thing you could make if you're a wizard. But I'm not spawning in a wizard just to craft a fucking wand of knock to pass over to myself. That would be cheating. Oh, that would be quite fun. I don't think you can get blank ones in, in the original campaign anyway. Did I miss that box? Some bitch. I'm going to go back and get that box. A potion of cure light is. So we got a potion of cure light is, an amethyst, and a little bit of cash. Nothing too special, but, you know, that's one extra potion. Certainly not going to complain about that. 
We got about seven gold in total out of it. That's not too bad. Uh, we're pretty close to level five as well. So that's nice. It shouldn't take us too long to get there. That might happen this episode. Uh, we're not quite halfway through yet, so it's a possibility. Uh, okay, let's make a fresh save in case I just get shot on as we walk out the door. So we're going to find Crystal and Gemini and a missing guard to start with. And then we're probably going to have to enter those catacombs that were mentioned under the graveyard. That sounds like the sort of thing that's going to happen. Um, Temple of Helm, Thomas Wheelwright. Did we go to both of those places already? Great graveyards over there. Strange building, barricaded home, barricaded home. Let's do a circuit then. Let's... Let's go around, and or did we just come from that direction? Let's have a look. Let's walk along the wall. See if this looks looted. It's not looted. Man, I don't know where did which way did we? Oh, we would have come from the city gate direction. So yeah, we want to sort of follow this around and then come out and do the whole that bit. Jeez, there's a lot to explore. Uh, probably more than I thought there was going to be. I appear to have a merchant in here when it unzips there. Oh, this is Thomas Wheelwright. It is a long day. I could use a drink. <laughs> you're dead. Extra punch you if you are. No, you're alive. Uh, <laughs> you sound stupid. We sound like you. He's got a problem with that. We just want to find wagon parts of Boss Manaldo. But we just find broken stuff. Leave me be. Well, I don't have any parts. Aldo will be mad. He doesn't want to leave his stuff behind. He sure likes his stuff. Maybe you could, uh, come with me to tell him there's no parts. He gets real mad sometimes. Uh, okay, I can do that. Where is he? Good, good. Aldo's guarding his wagon in the middle of Beggar's Nest. Uh, just don't let him bug you. He gets mad. Okay. I will not rob your bookshelf out of politeness. Um. Where are we taking you? What did you say? Aldo is guarding his broken wagon with his thumb in the centre of the beggar's nest. Okay. Sure. Should I... Yeah, there's some dead to you. Let's bless my weapon. <laughs> That's it for you. Take that. Just twat all these zombies. Sorry, I got a little bit distracted there. Ow, son of a bitch. They hit so hard. Fuck me. God damn zombies, man. They really are the worst. Now, there's Aldo. I see him. I found him. <laughs> Good shot, Hector. Well done. Aldo! I found a friend for you. Ankle bite and undead sons of... I know you're out there. Just try it. Come on! It's not such a nice wagon, dear. <laughs> wow. Let's examine him. Okay. Aldo! You just watch yourself. If you're dead, so help me, I'll make you deader. Uh, I won't hurt you. Uh, what are you mad for, Aldo? The dead ones don't talk back, so I guess you're okay. Dead ones are probably smarter, though. How very dare you. Hey, what are you doing with Hector? Tall folk idiot was supposed to get us some wagon parts. I tried, boss. Ain't no parts nowhere, though. I swear it. All right, all right, relax, you lummox. Let's just figure out what we do now. Time to abandon ship, I'll wager. No parts means no wagon. Oh, well. Thanks for bringing Hector here, friend. I think we'll find our own way out now. No sense staying. I'm sure he's a fine wagon, though. I'll miss you, girl. 100 points. There we go. Resolved. I wonder if we could have potentially found wagon parts and actually helped them to not... Um, not lose their wagon. But I don't care. <laughs> Max Goodman. I saved them. That's all that matters. You know, no refunds.
I wonder what's in here. It's some zombies. Well, who would have thought? Let's take that and that. And there's more where that came from. Here, have another one. Ow. <laughs> I've dealt with you. I'll take your copper ring for my collection of copper rings. Yes. Let's see what you've got upstairs. What are you hiding up there? More zombies, no doubt. Oh, it's Crystal! Look out, Crystal! There's a fucking zombie just standing there, you twat. Uh, hello! Thank you for your help. I didn't want to end up like them. Uh, yes, the plague is bad for everyone. I wish it were just the plague. The Sword Coast boys will do worse. These zombies were some of the gang I was in. I wasn't having anything more to do with them, not after what happened to Droll's rivals. Now they're all dead, and Droll's some kind of monster. Who is Droll? No, hey, eh, Droll and his lieutenants are worse. I saw him for a second. They ain't lumbering or slow. They look really evil now. He was the leader of our gang, but I don't know who he's dealing with now. I bet he gave over everyone just so he could be powerful. Who did Droll make a deal with? I don't know. At first I thought the heavies had something to do with it. They're a gang of our forks, but now they're all dead too. They're all wandering around the warehouse. It's like Droll put them on display, like with all his rivals, making a point. Um, and who who are you? Are you with the Sword Coast Boys? Me? I'm Crestal. I was just one of the boys. I'm lucky that I'm not important enough to come after. Plague God, no, I'd be over the wall if I was. After what Droll did to the others... And now they tracked Walters down after we left. I hope he's all right. I know Droll's rivals ended bad. Um. Okay, where are they? The Sword Coast boys. Droll had them take over a warehouse as a new base. Don't know why he thought that specific building was so important. That was just a little while ago. It's in the north central area of the district. Okay. Okay, Crystal. I will sort this out. What are you going to do? I ain't going nowhere. I ain't ending up like them. Not even Drawl, if I can help it. Well, fine. Just stay here, then. Stay here, and I'll loot your house. What you got in here, huh? What's in your cabinets, Crystal? A fucking flora spa. It's mine now. What are you going to do about it? Is this your club? It's a plus one. I'm having it. Now, fuck off and behave. Sword Coast boys. Crystal does not know where what may have caused the infestation be. Just know that something strange happened to his old gang, the Sword Coast boys. Uh, the leader of the gang, a man named Droll, has made some sort of deal that has resulted in the gang being turned into undead. Droll himself is some sort of powerful undead as well. The gang uses a warehouse in the north central area of the Beggar's Nest as a base of operations. I'm sure they fucking do. Let's have a snooze. Ah, a nice rest in Crystal's house. I could steal his cloak look. It's just hanging there. Nobody would know. Except Torm. Torm would know. So I guess we can't do that. <laughs> also, that and it's not real. You can't take it. Uh, okay. Let us carry on our merry way. So we're still looking for Gemini. And now we have a possible warehouse just up there. Which we need to have a quick look at. Um, but first... Let's finish exploring this corner. There's another zombie over there. It's a fire, a gate. Some things up here. It's got gold in. And some wine. Oh, delicious. Absolutely delicious. Uh, chest. With more gold. It all helps. Every little gold piece helps. We're up to 11.22 in gold. That's also annoying me that they weren't stacked. Uh, that was Thomas Wheelwright. So we checked that out. There's some patrol guards. There's like a tower here. There's a few towers. Oh, it's locked. Are they all locked? Okay. Right. Let's just check down the end of this wall and see what's down here. A lot of screaming going on. Is there anybody down here? Anyone at all? 
Is that open because it has a red glow to it? No. Okay. Okay, there's no one there. It was worth a look just in case that strange guard that we're looking for was around, but he's not. So we'll curl around. I'm not going to try all these doors. I'm guessing they're all locked. It's probably something to do with the guard. Will he tell us anything? I greet you. You the replacements? Good for you. Do what you want. I've told my men to hold position. Uh, what did you see? What do you think we've seen? Dead. Everywhere. If I wanted to face them dead, I'd have been an idiot adventurer. Never liked working near the Great Graveyard. Guess the plague just filled it too damn full. Uh, where is the Great Graveyard? It's just north of the Beggar's Nest. Go if you want. I don't want to know anything about it. I greet you. Um, have you got anything else to tell me? No. Okay, fine. Uh, so, Great Graveyard. Definitely a stopping point. I doubt there's going to be anything up here, but I just want to check... No. Okay, so there's a zombie poking around down there. We'll go deal with him first. I feel like we're slowly sort of making our way through this through this place. Uh, I'm not going to bless my weapon yet. I think I can take one zombie. Oh, there's more than one. Fuck it. <laughs> Quickly, bless, 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 bless. Bless me, good boy, Max Goodman. Here I come. Surprise! My sword is glowing. Check it out. It's particularly good against undead, which you just happen to be. Look, it makes you explode. It sucks to be you. Here's another one. Oh shit, that was a crap stab. I'm sorry. I'll try harder. Bang! There you go. And the zombie is gone. Uh, do I have a torch? No, I do not. Well, titties. A full wagon. Another scroll of silence. Curiouser and curiouser. Can we get in here? Nope, that's locked as well. Okay. Uh, well, there's the warehouse. I kind of don't want to do the warehouse straight away. So I will continue exploring some of these houses and see if we can find Gemini before I do that. Because it sounds like that's going to be a bit of a boss fight. Holger! I greet you. What do you want here? I've got nothing you couldn't get elsewhere. Please, leave me be. Uh, do you, I have some questions. Are you so daft that you couldn't find someone more important to ask? I've been bothered up in here. What would I know? Uh, did you hear anything odd? No, nah, she she doesn't know anything. Maybe those dark sun followers. Okay, she does know something. What do you know about the gang? The Sword Coast boys are what they call themselves. Some good children fell in with them. Now they'll end up in stocks. The worst of the lot is Drawl. The rest just babies. I think they spend most of their time in the northwest of the nest. And who are the dark sun followers? This is new. Shh. They follow Cyric. I stayed the heck away from them. The whole lot of out of their minds. Just crazy. I hope the plague took them. Not a decent one of the lot. I can't tell you where they were based and I don't care to know. Okay. Fine. Fine. Thanks for the help and the warning about Cyric. I will not rob your chest of drawers out of politeness. Um, there's another door over here that I can get in. And a chest... More wine! Oh, it's going to be a good night tonight. Two bottles of wine. <laughs> going to get very sozzled. Oh, look! Shit ton of zombies! That's what we're talking about. It's a pity I can't actually turn undead. Come on, take a fucking stab. There we go. Bang. I, th I feel like one of these should have Gemini inside it. I don't know which one. Uh, I can hear flies. That's not good. Uh, let's curl back this way slightly. Let's just check some of this stuff. Oh yes, this is all good. All lootable. Banded mail. Sure, I'll take it. 
this was the back of the Shining Serpent, so we should... No, we haven't looted this bit yet either. Man, we did not loot much of this at all, did we? We have looted that. Okay. And I'm guessing... Did we loot this one? No. Another Amethyst. We have been in that house because the door's open. There's some more Zombles. However, I feel like this house is our next stop. <laughs> That's it for you. Take that. A lot of zombies. We can deal with them. They're pretty weak. We're only getting seven XP for them, which is pretty dire. We're not going to level up anytime soon off fucking seven XP per zombie, are we? Come on, hit it, Max. That's the one. Well done. One fucking gold piece. And there's no upstairs to it. Okay. Okay, let's go fight this big wadge of zombies that's outside. There, there certainly is a big fucking wadge. And that one's not a weak one, so I'm going to smite him. Oh, beautiful. Beautifully done. Man, Bless Weapon is so effective against these guys. Oh, fucking brilliant. There's another Merchant's Shingle there. Another Scroll of Silence. And I know there's a zombie sneaking up on me. Thankfully, they move really slowly. It's almost like they're the shambling dead. Right, so let's poke our head into this house. And this is the last house we will check for this episode. Cyril's Bakery. Appears to be full of zombies. Bad day to be you, Cyril. It's two actual zombies as well, not even the weak ones. Oh, I can turn them dead. I should have just tried that from the start. I completely forgot turning them dead was a thing. Cyril's dropped a leaven bread recipe. Huh. I like my bread unleavened, Cyril. You hear me? Unleavened. Don't know what the difference is, to be honest with you. Uh, but there you go. Right, let us snooze in Cyril's bakery. It's the perfect place to take a nap. How are we doing? So, we are 750 away from levelling. We're getting there. I think it's going fairly well. Uh, we've got a significant chunk of crap that we've picked up. We're getting close to our carrying capacity, but not quite. Um, so, next time, we're still looking for... What's-his-face? Gemini. We need to find Gemini, and then we can hit the warehouse, which is where we will find this drawl guy, who seems to be the guy who's behind some of this. And I'd imagine after that we go to the Great Graveyard. So, that's the thing. We'll try the Turn Undead thing out as well, um, and see how well that works. Um, I doubt we'd get the Instant Destroy, though, so it probably just fears them, which is not so great. Because you have to have double their levels. I mean, it might. It depends how many hit dice the weak ones have. You know. If they have two hit dice or less, they'll be destroyed instantly. I mean, they were dying with 20-odd damage, weren't they? Uh, weak zombies. Died with 20. Died with 20. Well, undead have a D12 hit die. Is that right? I honestly can't remember off the top of my head, but if they do, D12 with no con mod, so it'd be 12 hit points per level. So 24 would be two hit dice, and they're dying in 20, so they maybe only do have one level. That explains why they're only 7 XP each. So yeah, that might actually work. We might actually be able to turn undead on them. Uh, we'll try it. Okay, right. Well, uh, that's where I'm going to leave it then, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>